Okay guys, so we're still talking about Joseph. Now Joseph um, is still in jail. He's been in jail for a long time and he even told two really important people about their dream and what it meant. And so now he was hoping that the one guy would tell Pharaoh that he was in jail and that he was the one that interpreted his dream, but he mm -hmm. forgot. Oh, you can hear my dog here. Say hi. Say hi, Raven. <laughs> hi. Um, anyway, so Pharaoh, this, this is taking place in um, Genesis 41, and Pharaoh is having a dream of himself himself at night and this dream um has to do with there are seven cows and seven cows come out of the water nile and the river nile and they they start eating the grass and they're really fat and healthy and um and then seven more cows come out of the water and these guys are really skinny and and you can see their bones and um and then he looks at the dream and guess what happens those seven bony bony cows start eating and swallow the seven fat cows you know what's really weird they didn't get any fatter they stayed skinny and he woke up and he's like man what's that about he went back to sleep and then he had another dream this dream has seven ears of corn and they are on one stalk of corn and they're nice and healthy and juicy and yummy and then he dreamt that there was another set of ears of corn and these are all skinny and scrawny and and not really good and they're all dried out because the wind blew on them. And then he looked at it again and the skinny ears of corn gobbled up the big fat ears of corn. You gotta remember dreams don't always make sense, right? And what's really weird is the skinny ears of corn did not get any fatter. Well, he woke up in the morning and he was like, man, he was really upset. And so he called all his people that were really wise and really smart, supposedly, and like ma the magicians and all the advisors that he would talk to and they would advise him to do certain things. And he gathered them to him. So they all came and they were eager to hear what he was having to say. So he told them about the dream. He told them that There were seven cows for the first dream and they were fat and they were eating the grasses of the Nile River and then seven more cows came out of the river and they were all skinny and scrawny and bony and then what did they do? They ate the big fat cows but they didn't get fatter and then he said then I went to sleep and then I, went, I had another dream. And there were seven ears of corn, big and healthy and yummy and juicy and mm. And then there were seven other ears of corn and they were scrawny and dried out from the wind and uh. And he said, so what does that mean? Because these guys ate the big fat ones and they still were very skinny. They had no idea what it meant. They were trying to figure it out, but they couldn't. Well, who works for Pharaoh again? The wine taster, right? The guy that drinks the wine, he's like, oh no, Pharaoh, I messed up. This now reminds me of something really important. A long time ago, you put me in jail with, my, with another guy and we both had dreams and we told this Hebrew guy, Hebrew guy uh, who was in jail and we told him our dream and he interpreted it and it all came true. 
Well, Pharaoh said, well, go get him. So they went and got Joseph. They had him change his clothes and shave and get dressed, take a shower. And he came. Now, this is supposed to look at, at Pharaoh, but I don't have another felt piece. So please use your imagination that he's looking at Pharaoh. And he says, can you tell him? Um, Pharaoh says, hey, I heard people said that you can interpret dreams. He said, I can't interpret dreams, but you, um, but God can interpret dreams, but you can tell me and God will help me know what it means. So he told him about the cows and about the corn and it was seven of them and then seven more. And Joseph said, oh, well, God tells me that the big first fat cows mean that you're going to have seven great years of harvest. I mean, really good food, more food than you normally have for seven good years. And then the other seven years is going to be seven bad years of famine, of drought, no water, and the plants won't grow and there won't be any food for people at all. And people will die if they don't do something. And he said, and the ears of corn are the same thing. It means the same thing. He said, it's gonna be so bad that people won't even remember the seven great years. He said, so God is giving you this information now so you can prepare. What you need to do is give somebody, make somebody in charge of all of Egypt and make sure that it's that it's a person that's honest and sincere and very wise and make sure that they know that they can keep track of everything that is being harvested and what you should do is take five percent of each year of the harvest and store it in barns or other places so then when the seven bad years come and nobody has anything, you can give it out to them and you can save their lives. And we won't be, be dealing with people dying because they don't have enough food. Well, Pharaoh is thinking, he's like, I don't have anybody else besides you that could do this job. Nobody else knew could interpret my dream. If God is giving you that wisdom, I want you to be in charge of Egypt and me in charge of everything that I own. Well, that means that Joseph is gonna be second in command. Pharaoh took off his signature ring, gave it to him, and he put it on his hand. He He's told people to go get him clothes and put it on in this great big gold chain. He put it around his neck. And he gave him the chariot. Chariot is a, as a um, like a carriage, a really important carriage that horses pull you. And so then he can go throughout the whole area of Egypt, making sure that everything is fine and he'll have fine clothes. And he even gave him a wife. So that's what he did. Wait a minute. Didn't the brothers put him in slavery? And wait, didn't he have a dream that he was gonna be more powerful than his mom and his dad and all his brothers and they're gonna bow down to him? It's happening because he's in charge of everything. The only person that's more above him is Pharaoh himself. Whoa! amazing God bless him God is in control God blesses us gives us things that we don't deserve and you know what and Joseph always made sure that he remembered that God was giving him this power he wasn't taking the power and giving it to Joseph saying I know all the dreams right yeah and Jesus Jesus was brought to us and he is in charge of us too, right? And he is God's son. Wow. 
pretty amazing. God is in charge of all of this. And he had it all part of his plan. All part of it. Look how he is using Joseph for his glory. Can he use you for his glory? He sure can. We have the power to have God be in charge of our life. Can you imagine if we let him do what he wants to do with us? We, even you, who's like four years old or five years old or six or seven, you can do amazing things for God. And it's because God gives you the blessings, right? All right, so we need to have a lot to thank for. Put one hand up, put the other hand up, and let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much. Thank you for loving us and allowing us to learn from this story that you were in control of all this. And Joseph, he was making sure that he loved you and allowed you to be in charge and not him. Lord, help us to do that in our life. In Jesus' name, amen.